Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by Basebi Jaki Mosigny, who is the Deputy Director for Spectrum Management for the Botswana Communication Regulatory Authority, BOCRA. Basebi, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Well, I wanted to basically congratulate you in terms of the fact that you're newly elected as Chair of Committee 2. Mm -hmm. Uh, for this conference. I wanted to start off by asking you as well, in your opinion, why is the World Radio Communication Conference an important event? Wow, very important, because it is the only platform that enables us to negotiate um, the allocation of radio frequency spectrum. And remember also that spectrum is a trillion dollar business. So that is why it is very important that we come to one place and discuss how we allocate spectrum to different radio communication services. In the committee that you're chairing, uh, there's a lot of great important work being done. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about it. Simply put, no credentials, no uh, radio communication, World Radio Communication Conference. Um, that is the reason why Committee 2 is one of the statutory committees of the World Radio Communication Conference. What we do is we inspect all credentials from all member states and to ensure that they are in order. This is to say credentials must, um, in, the, in the document, there must be where it is um, stated clearly that the delegation are given powers to represent the country, to sign the final acts, and also to participate in negotiating on behalf of the country. So if um, the credentials are not deposited on time, like I said before, it then means you have just come here to negotiate, but you cannot sign the treaty document, which you have come here to do what? To review. So it is very important that uh, the credentials are deposited on time. And our work is to nudge the administrations to do that before the deadline. Now, there's been a big push for a number of years now to increase the participation of women at the World Radio Communication Conference, at the, at the Radio Communication Assembly. There was a gender resolution passed as well. How successful do you think this push has been to increase the number of women here at WRC? It's been quite successful. I mean, having participated in 2012, 2015, 2019, and now this one, the participation has really increased. Not only that, but also seeing women taking leadership uh, positions, uh, like, for example, Committee 2, uh, which is uh, uh, chaired by me, and then Committee 3, which is chaired by a woman, and Committee 5. I mean, really, I think Committee 5 also the lady, is the first time that that lady is chaired, that a woman is chaired in the committee. So this is to say, really, um, this initiative has, um, has assisted women not only to participate, but also to take leadership roles. So it's really made the member states sit up and take notice, is that what yes, you're saying? Yes, 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 yes. That is very true. And, and also, you know, for member states to appoint women in the spectrum management activities. Because, I mean, largely, this, uh, um, this conference is for spectrum management. So if women are in those roles back at home and the regulators, then they are then able to come here and represent their countries. So it starts from there. And we see a lot of them being appointed at the regulatory level, national regulatory level. What impact do you think the outcomes of this conference will have for the future of radio communication? Of course, a huge impact. I must say things have evolved from since 2012 to now. A lot of things have evolved in that we see uh, more of um, uh, the industry participating. Industry voice is now really high and also um, academia participating. So in the future, I think even the ITU will reconsider its, the, the member, its constituencies as in terms of the members, you know. It could be that in the future we'll see the industry, the academia really being treated equally as the member states. Now this is uh, traditionally a conference where consensus is uh, the yes. modus operandi. How do you see the, the, the final outcomes of this? Um, like you have put it, really, will be equally happy and unhappy. And that is in the spirit of consensus. I mean, uh, you can imagine 190, is it two or eight member states of the union? And we all have mandates from our countries. 
So imagine when we come out of this or we negotiate, we must come up with one decision for every agenda item, which then means we have to compromise. We have to, you know, kind of uh, accommodate each other. The end result will be we will be happy and unhappy in some areas. Yeah, we'll be unhappy and happy at the same time. And are you confident? Are you optimistic for the future of radio communications in Botswana? Yes, I am. I really am because we have increased participation uh, at the sub-regional level, which is SADC, at the ATU level. And even our delegation here is much uh, larger than all the WRCs that we have attended. So this is to say the impact that this process uh, has on Botswana has been huge and being realized that it is really an important uh, conference. So we really are, uh, you know, participating and we are also um, contributing. Like we used to attend and it's like, oh, okay, there's method A, B, C. But now we start from the formulation of the methods, where when the methods are then consolidated, our method will be there, which is really a good step forward. Basebi Jackie Mosini, Deputy Director of Spectrum Management of Botswana Communication Regulatory Authority, BOCRA, as well as the newly elected Chair of Committee 2 here. Thanks so much for joining us and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels and wherever you get your podcasts from. Uh, it's uh, very important that uh, you also check out our website at www.itu.int. Thanks very much for joining us and uh, we'll catch up with you again very soon too. Thank you. <laughs>